Hey there, Waste of Potential 616. Back again with another review. Okay, let's talk about Dark Avengers issue 9. Okay, now this covers a little bit misleading, but um, I enjoyed this issue. Uh, Bendis, again. Um, now, oh, so many things I can say about this. Um, this could have been. Um, a new warriors issue. Um, maybe that's <laughs> I don't know. Maybe Bendis just wanted a little bit of a stab at the uh, at those characters again because he's, he's 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 not doing the book anymore with uh, Hickman. Um, anymore. But um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I, I like both titles and I like the characters. It's always great to see Nick Fury. Now, basically this title is dealing with the fact that um, Ares' son is with the New Warriors. Uh, new Warriors? I'm sorry, Secret Warriors. Big boo-boo there. Whoops. Um, and, yeah, and he sort of confronts um, Nick Fury about it. And it's not a big fight. Which, um, and you know, surprise, surprise, is Ventus book. There's a lot of talking. But that said, I thought it was really good. I really enjoyed the conversation between Ares and um, Nick Fury. And, um, and which sort of makes this more of a Dark Avengers book rather than Secret and Warriors. Is that it's, it's a real insight into Ares character and the relationship with his son and how he feels nept as a father and he doesn't want to repeat the mistakes of his own father um, which is you know, an interesting thing and I think handled really well so I really enjoyed that and um, and also another uh, thing that helps the uh, the book along is uh, Mike uh, Diodato. God, he's a brilliant artist, man. I wish I could, man. If, I wish I could draw like him. Like, if I had like oh, 20 percent of his ability, man, I'd be drawing comics. All, you know, unfortunately, I don't. I just read and look at him. <laughs> mm. But oh, the artwork is so good, and yet yeah, once again, I like the page, the page layout, the composition is very good as well. Anyway, there's that aspect of the the book. Um, it's a, an issue that needed to be addressed. Um, you know, uh, Ares' the son, and um, you know, some people might be disappointed that it wasn't ended a big fight. But I thought it was handled really well, and um, yeah. A, 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 a good look at the character of Ares. Uh, he's a really interesting character, and um, you know he's quite new to the Marvel universe. I'm sure he's made like little cameos and stuff in Thor's in Thor for a while, or you know Hercules and stuff. But um, you know he hasn't been a big player uh, up until sort of you know Mighty Avengers, all that little mini series just before, um, which I kind of want to get my hands on, um, just to sort of learn more about him. Um, I'm sure I will at some point, but yeah, so that aspect of it is really good. Anyway, towards the end, so that bit, brilliant, really enjoyed. Um, anyway, as we get to the end of the book, we get to see, hey, the Dark Avengers, <laughs> even though it's their book. Um, There's a short little scene where Dakin's um, recounting a fight he had with Deadpool, and he's have those issues um, of uh, Wolverine origins, and that's cool. Nice little characterisation, you know, seeing them talk as characters. And it has something that happens with the Sentry, which I kind of saw coming. You know, it was bound to happen. I was just wondering if it's going to happen. And a bit of a spoiler alert. Um, but um, Sentry's wife, you know, she's sick and tired of, you know, being married to the nutcase and she can't seem to get away from him, even in death. Um, so she shoots him in the face with um, one of Marvel Boy's guns. And, uh, wow, is that a good, uh, I mean, uh, 
you probably, you probably won't be able to see it that well. No, there's too much light. Oh no, there we go. Look at that. She shot his face off. Wow, that's pretty damn cool. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see the uh, repercussions of that. Um, and maybe, you know, because I, I, I enjoyed the century as a character. I mean, he's gone a bit downhill, I right? guess. It's kind of like some. He's a difficult character to deal with. Um, but his um, his miniseries was great. The first century miniseries, one of my favourite stories. So I feel that um, the century, when written well, um, has a hell of a lot of potential. It would be a really good character. So I'm excited to see what they do with this. Um, I wasn't quite sure what the last page was about because um, in the first couple of pages, um, I forget her name. What's her name? Victoria Hand. She's trying to talk to Norman Osborn, and then he kind of like brushes her aside, and he's in his little room, and and then he's like, "Oh, Victoria, are you still there? I think I need some help." Hello. Um, and then at the last page, it's that same corridor. And then she goes beep, and I'm not even sure what that means. So I don't know what that's about. But um, hopefully that's going to be explained. Maybe it's just me being stupid. Maybe it's really obvious, and I'm just being dumb. Anyway, so yeah, I really enjoyed this issue. Um, I'm loving what they're doing with, with the Dark Avengers. Uh, you just get to see a lot of them in this issue, um, but you get to see enough of them in the Marvel Universe in general um, and yeah sometimes you get to see better incarnations of them in other books than in their own book but that said I am enjoying this book Bendis I think is doing quite a good job you know and the artwork is brilliant so pick this up this looks to be if you want an insight into Ares' character, pick this up. And even though there's only a few pages, this looks to be the beginning of um, a good story. Also, you know, because Marvel Boys kind of disappeared and, um, you know, the Sentry's wife used his weapon, I want to know what's going on with the Sentry, uh, with Marvel Boys. So, you know, hopefully that's going to be touched upon soon. Yeah, good book. I'm enjoying it. See you later, guys. Bye.